In this video, we're going to talk through troubleshooting the Calypso breast pump. First of all, we need to make sure we are using an Ardo original pump set. Other pump sets may not fit together correctly, affecting the way seals and connections happen, which will then affect how the pump works. Before using the pump, we want to sterilise the breast shell, the membrane pot, the lip valve and bottle. However, it is really important to make sure they are completely dry before using the pump. Don't immerse the green lid or the silicone tubes in water. If they are dirty, give them a wipe with an antibacterial wipe. They need to remain totally dry. If they get wet, water can get inside the pump, causing damage which will then affect your warranty. We have a 26mm brush shell. This is the tunnel your nipple goes into. It is important that you are using the correct brush shell size. Ardo have other sizes available on their website. There is also a video that covers brush shell sizing. The link is below. This is the lip valve which is connected to the brush shell here. Be careful when using this as it's a really important part of the pump. Check to make sure it's intact with no tears. If there's any damage, you will need a new lip valve. Take it off from the thick sides and avoid pulling the thinner wedge part and don't use a bottle brush to clean it. We then need to take our bottle and screw it on securely. This is a membrane pot. Check to make sure it's intact with no rips. It needs to face the correct way with the smooth sides facing outwards. Once it's in, just give it a tap to make sure that it's fully down. Then take the green cap. As you can see, this line here, it needs to align with the line here on the brush shell when we first place the cap on. Then we want to rotate it towards the right. The silicone tubing needs to go onto the end of the green cap. The other end of the tubing needs to be connected to the tube connector. The tube connector then goes into the front of the pump. Make sure the tube connector is pushed into the port fully. If we are single pumping, we need to close this cap. And if we are double pumping, we need to assemble another pump set and then connect the other tube to the tube connector. If the tube gets kinked at any point, this can trap air and the pump will cut out. The pump will go into error and you need to turn the pump off. Then release the tubing and turn the pump on again and you can continue pumping. If a general error fault shows upon the pump, this is a safety cut off meaning there is something wrong inside the pump. In this instance, you need to contact Ardo for support as this is not a troubleshooting issue. There is a connection point for the cable in the back of the pump, which can be plugged into a plug socket. Make sure to use a cable provided by Ardo and not any other cables that look similar. There is also the option to use batteries on the underside of the pump. You need six AA batteries, good quality and not rechargeable. When you're not using the pump or you're using the cable to power the pump, remove the batteries. You can get support from Ardo with any troubleshooting issues either online or you can call. If you want to learn more, click the links below. 